In writing to the Christians in Rome about how to live in light of the gospel, Paul writes, I'm fully convinced, my dear brothers and sisters, that you're full of goodness, that you know these things so well you can teach them to each other and you can teach all about them. Even so, I have been bold enough to write about some of these points knowing that all you need is a reminder. You know, Paul writes, you guys are family, my brothers and sisters. He says, I believe in you and you guys know these things that I've been talking about, but he says, it's good to be reminded. And you know, we all need that. For example, my wife and I have been married for 13 years. We have five beautiful children. We've even owned four homes together and served in two churches. We have what I would call a healthy marriage. Not a perfect marriage, but honestly, a great one. But here's the thing. If I never tell her that I love her, if I never buy flowers, if I never take her out to dinner, or take out the trash, or for her, get her her drink. Vanilla sweet cream cold brew with a vanilla sweet cream foam. See, if I never remind her of my love, well, it impacts the health and the joy of our marriage. And Paul says, I'm bold to remind you of these things because these are about the good news of Jesus. As believers, we need to be reminded every day about the good news. To be reminded that we're forgiven. To be reminded that we're free from the power of sin. To be reminded that it's okay to open up to one another because the gospel makes us family. And to remind us that we don't need to become unhinged today because of today's headlines, latest political, health, or social dynamics because the gospel tells us that we have a future. See, in life, we can find our responses to our daily experiences, well, they can become disconnected from what we say we believe. One author writes this, that anger, fear, panic, and discouragement stalk our hearts and whisper a false gospel that will lure our lives away from what we say we believe. But don't let your concerns shape you, but form your concerns by the gospel. So today, be reminded of the good news of Jesus, that because of Jesus you're forgiven, you're free, you're part of a family, and in Jesus' name, you have a future.